Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another stick that I have never explored before. We are going to go with this brick house, Maduro. This is a product from the J.C. Newman Company. You see here it's a six and a quarter by 60. It is a mighty, mighty Gordo. So this is a pretty big one. Uh, it is the largest offering that Brick House does in Maduro's. They also offer uh, what they call a classic and a double Connecticut Brick House. So three different blends, um, many sizes in the other two blends, but only three sizes in this blend in the Maduro. And this is the largest. I never saw a size like that before. Uh, it is a mighty, mighty, and it's actually a, it's actually a Goro. So or a gordo so we're gonna get this thing opened and cut and lit i've got a bourbon pairing to go with it today as well that i'm pretty excited about uh this i was looking for maduros that i had never tried before and this one here as soon as i picked it up and saw the jc newman i thought well i should be in for a treat here uh jc newman is the ones that make quorum which is my favorite budget line uh, this I don't know that I'd put this in the budget category. This is a Nicaraguan stick, just like the Quorums. This one was ten bucks. I paid ten dollars for this. It's a nice looking stick. It's got a nice wrapper. The leaf's nice. It's nice and smooth. So I don't recommend J.C. Newman companies that are made in America. I had some bad stuff from them. I had the Trader Jack, uh, min kicking midnight cigars that came in a bag. I was looking for budget stuff, did not like those very much. Half of them, there was 20 in a bag and about half of them wouldn't draw. So not so good. This smells like a classic Maduro. It smells like leather and cocoa. Obviously it's gonna be, you know, on the medium to full body, it's gonna be spicy. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells great. All right, so let's get it cut and get it toasted up. And we'll get that bourbon poured. So we're just gonna cut it with our straight cutter like usual here. This thing is a 60, so we're getting pushing the limits of this cutter. All right, that is good. Take a look at that. Again, nothing fancy, nothing special here. As far as the cut. Mm, that is a nice, big, spicy smell in Maduro. All right, got a glass here. The whiskey we're going to do today is the High West bourbon. It is a blended bourbon. So it has, uh, it says a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys aged a minimum of two years. So these guys are sourcing from somewhere. Uh, this came pretty highly recommended, excuse the pun, High West. Um, so I wanted to try this, Let's give you a shot of the back label as well. I got this in my local store here in Pennsylvania. Uh, it was on sale, 36 bucks, normally 39 bucks. Either, no, might've been $37, normally 40. Um, so yeah, so not, not an inexpensive bourbon. I'm, I'm expecting big things out of this. We'll see how it goes. Let's get this opened up. It just has a plastic sort of cellophane on the top here. And then what looks to be a pretty good cork here. Let's get a cork pull, see what we got. Not bad, not bad. Here's the cork. Just plain, nothing fancy, but it is real cork. So I always try and get some bonus points on stuff like that. Looks like a pretty classic bourbon. See how it smells. It smells just like regular bourbon, has that bourbon burn in a good way. It smells sweet. Caramel vanilla, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary here. All right, let's let that air out a little bit. In that glass, get this Maduro lit. Okay. What's everybody up to today? How's everybody doing? What are we drinking? What are we smoking? It's not a bad day here, a little chilly, but it is the end of October, so getting to be that time of year okay get this guy toasted up nice
can hear the leaves blowing around. I didn't bother with cold draw on that. I just figure you're getting the classic stuff out of that. Why waste time? Let's get this thing lit. All right, so pretty pretty classic. I'm getting the, the cocoa. I'm getting spice on my tongue and throat. This is a big stick. It's firm, it's very hard. Uh, it's got a good draw, great draw actually. Wow, a lot of smoke. As I'm going through my exploration here, my journey with cigars, I seem to like ones that really put off a lot of smoke and have good draws. I'm also, like I've mentioned many times, I'm a pretty fast smoker. It might be why I like a really strong draw and a lot of smoke. This is, I can tell this is a smoky cigar. Uh, there's ones that'll put off less and more smoke than others. Whoa. Yeah. Definitely consider this on the full-bodied side of things. It's a big, big stick and a big smoke here. A lot of smoke coming off of it. Yeah, it's nice. It comes the sun a little bit. Old Glory's all twisted up back there. Been windy here. Been windy and feels like, like I said, like winter's coming, so. Yeah, tough on the retro. A lot of burn, a lot of heat there, a lot of spice. But hey, you, you don't pick up a Maduro this size and expect it to be a mild cigar. You know, you know what you're getting yourself into when you when you get into one of these things. So J.C. Newman, a cigar company, makes a ton of different things. Um, you know, they, they manufacture in America, Nicaragua, where this is from, and the Dominican Republic. Um, like I said, they're American stuff. I've just had bad luck with it. The Quorum and this are both from Nicaragua. I don't know that I've had anything from the Dominican from them yet. What What are you guys' favorite J.C. Newman cigar? What's your favorite? Have you ever had one of these? Have you, have you seen them? I didn't know this was their cigar until I picked it up. I mean, I just saw this cigar. It says Brickhouse Maduro, you know, 10 bucks. And I was like, looks like one I want to try. Um, and then I just sort of stumbled upon it. Like I have with mostly everything I've been getting into. Um, so have, have you guys smoked any of these? What's your favorite, you know, one from this particular manufacturer? They're big. They make a lot of different stuff. You may have smoked one from them and you didn't even know it. I'm sure their stuff all says it. I'm sure it all says JC Newman on it. A lot of people don't really care. They don't really pay attention. You just pick something up to try it and that's that. All right. This is a big cigar that guy down for a sec try some of this bourbon high west blended there's no excuse for this to be bad because it's a blend hmm wow that's pretty good i'm getting a little like a little orange like a little orange zest in there as well, along with that just typical bourbon. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, just off the, right out the gate, I'm not upset about spending 37 bucks on that bottle. Um, I do not know that I would buy it again right out the gate. A lot of times these things will sit around for a while and get some air in here and it changes the complexity and the whole deal i had that that uh widow jane applewood rye that i didn't care for and really felt like i'd overpaid initially for that when i first opened it 
Then I let it sit around a couple of weeks and drank it and it was phenomenal. Like, so I really try not to judge too hard. Um, it's got a nice bottle. Look, it's got a nice engraving in the bottle of a horseshoe there. It says High West Distillery on it. It doesn't say that they're distilling it though. It says it's bottled by them. So I don't know, you watch these bourbon channels and obviously cigar channels on YouTube and you learn a lot of stuff. Bruzel teaching me a lot of stuff about distilling and you know the difference between saying produced by and distilled by and things like that so um you know it doesn't say distilled by them it just says high west distillery and then it says bottled by them so chances are they sourced all that that whiskey that bourbon in there yeah i'm gonna be spending some time with this guy i can tell we're going to be here for a little bit, that's for sure. A couple of those Man of War cigars I smoked recently. You can smoke them pretty quick. You know, those mild and mediums. Excuse me, these are a little different. A little bit more of a project here. You're getting yourself, you're devoting some time to this thing. Nice and smooth, silky. Yeah, I'm guessing, so they offer a double Connecticut. I don't know why it's a double. If I ever pick one up, I'll explain it, um, why it's a double, why it says double Connecticut. There's gotta be a reason. And then um, they just call their other one a classic. I'm assuming that classic is a sun-grown. Um, you know, sun-grown is probably the most far-reaching you know leaf on a cigar the being that it doesn't really require a whole lot to grow those um you know the shade or connecticut that clearly needs shade over it and then these maduros are ones that have just been reached a point where they are getting so beat up by the sun that they got sweet that there's a little sweetness in a maduro you wouldn't think that you know by looking at it you'd think oh it's the strongest but a lot of times the sun grown are even stronger than the maduros just from my, my little bit of experience I've had. I've, I've found that out quick. I picked up a Sun Grown and a Maduro and smoked them and thought that Sun Grown was, was stronger, so. Hmm. Yeah, leather, good tobacco. Yeah, I think this stick's worth 10 bucks. A little bit of cocoa. I'm really getting like a, a citrus note in that bourbon. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is good though for, for what it is. One of these days, I'm going to spend a little bit of money and pick something up. You know, I smoked that Cohiba. That was like 24 bucks, um, you know, retail MSRP. But I'm hanging in my wheelhouse here worth these $10, you know, 9 10 11 12 That's really where I want to be. If you want to recommend something, please do it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try and keep this content coming daily. Do a little touch up here on this guy. See here, it's just a little uneven. You don't need to do this. You know, it's really not necessary in my opinion, but try and keep the burn even on it if I can. Mm. Yeah, he's beautiful. You know, being new to cigars isn't necessarily a bad thing either. You know, you really sort of don't get sick of things. You know, I'm not sick of anything. I appreciate everything. You know, every stick I smoke, I find something in there that's enjoyable. 
you know, as long as it draws. Uh, like I said, some bad luck with these guys with their super budget stuff, but those quorums, in my opinion, they are great. They, you know, quorum has the Maduro, the shade, and the sun, and they're they're all good. I smoke all of them all the time. If I made a video for every cigar I smoked, it would, I'd have two videos a day. Um, I try to just make them for ones that I've never smoked before, and I try to pair it with a whiskey that I think will go good with it that I've also never had or, you know, happen to have on hand that I just really feel strongly about that it would go well with it. All right. I'm going to spend some time with this thing, get to know it a little bit better. If I discover anything, you know, a third or halfway down or at the nub or any of that stuff that, that I didn't mention in this video, I will absolutely let you guys know. I anticipate it to get much spicier. Uh, they don't always do that, but most of the time, Maduros do that. As you get down further, it's even spicier. And by spicy, I'm talking like black pepper on my tongue. Um, something else in here too that I can't I can't put my finger on. I don't want to like just take guesses and throw things out there and say things that you guys will be like, "What's he talking about?" But it almost has like a like a like a bready, um, like not a bad way, but like a almost like a rye spice. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, "That's a whiskey trade, you know, whiskey uh, note." But it's not in here. It's not this. Yeah, that has that citrus note, and this has like a rye spice. And hey, again, these are just my opinions. You might smoke one of these and be like, I didn't get any of that stuff. All right. You guys take care of yourselves and each other. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time, and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this thing. And I will catch you in the next video.